Hello and welcome back. So this is episode 26 of season 1. Um, in the last episode we created a scene for the main menu and now we're going to create the menu itself. So you should already have a canvas in your scene. Um, in the scene view it should look something like this depending on the size of your viewport. Um, to, to zoom in on it you can click canvas and then go into the scene view and hit F. That F key on your keyboard. And now we're just going to right click on canvas, um, go to UI, and then hit button. And we're just going to keep this one dead simple. We're just going to call it um, button start game. And then you can expand that in the hierarchy and text. We're just going to write start game like that. Now, if we hit play, we'll see the button and we can click on it, but it doesn't do anything. Uh, I'm just going to drag mine over. Whoops. Whoa, what happened there? Undo. Um, I'm just. I'm going to click on button, start game, drag it over, and move the anchor to the left side of the screen. Uh, move it over some more. Drag it up. And I want to make it look bigger. So the easiest way to resize user interface elements is to click on this square. And let's make the text larger. 25. Move the text down a little bit. Now I feel like I made it too big. So go back to the rectangle scale. Make the text a little bit smaller. 20. I'm not sure why the... oh. And now you'll notice that the text is sort of like not aligning correctly. It seems like it's too high. That's because I hit the enter key after game. And so it it it's it, it used that character return and it pushed everything up. So go ahead and delete that. Um so just so it's all centered correctly. And change the text on this to text start game. And now very quickly we're going to script this so that it actually loads the next level. So in the management folder, um, I'm going to create a game manager empty game object. And then in scripts, I'm just going to create um, menu control. Go ahead and put that on the game manager. And actually, a uh, game manager sounds like a little bit too much responsibility for this um, simple little menu, so I'm, I'm actually going to change that to menu control. I just want the names to reflect the functionality as far as possible. Open up menu control, and we're going to create a public void function called start game. And right now, all it has to do is write something to the console. So let's just write started game. All right. And now if we go into the canvas and select our button, which is button start game, um, you can see we have this event manager. You're going to hit the plus sign and then drag in the menu control game object. And then it gives you a list of functions. We have game object, transform, and the menu control component we just built. And now you can see the function we just wrote called start game. So now that we assigned the function we made, when we click on the button, it should print something to the console. And you can see it did. I really don't like the way that centered on the screen. Um, let's go ahead and drag that over. Start game, F to zoom in. Bring it over. And I'm just going to maximize this window. Uh, no, that didn't work. I, I want the window as big as possible so that uh, we have 
as close to the dimensions on the game window as we can. Bring that down. Change the width to like 300. Yeah, I think I like that a little bit better. And we might as well make the text larger. Text 30. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, and then we can duplicate that. Whoops. Uh, grab the button, Control D to duplicate that. And we're just going to say button quit. And we're going to do the same thing. Just create a public void method called quit. And quit. Save that. It should compile. Um, change this to quit. And then click on the button, and it's currently pointing to the start game method. We need it, we need it to point to the quit method. Hit play, and you can see they both display the right text. Um, now, very quickly, we can fix these so they actually do their job. Um, I think this should be application quit. Yeah, and this um, we're gonna have to load. Unity's built-in scene management libraries. So using Unity engine, engine.scene, like that. And then we can just say scene manager.load. And we have to get, we can give it a scene name or a scene number. I'm gonna give it the number one. Um, and then we're gonna go up to build settings and then we're going to click Add Open Scenes. So now you can see the main menu is Scene 0. Save that, and then uh, open up your terrain scene, and go to Build Settings, Add Current, and now um, the, the level that we do the fighting in is Scene 1. So when, when the user clicks Start Game, we're going to load Scene 1. And now let's go back to Main Menu and test it. So quit doesn't do anything because we're in the editor, um, but if you actually build this as a as an, a standalone game, um, that would actually quit the game. And now when we hit start, it should load the next level, and it did. Um, you can see that the light mapping got messed up, uh, but that's like a there's, a there's a pretty small chance of that happening. And, and if you actually built the application as a standalone game, that that should never happen. Um, I'm going to cut the video off here. Thanks for watching.